Hi everyone, this is Mrs. V Chan. Welcome to my Form 2 Math lesson number 18. And today is 12th of July 2020. Okay, so today's topic is about arts and sectors. All right, so here we have a circle and this is the center and here is radius. So what do we call the perimeter of a circle? We name it circumference. And here is the formula to work out circumference of a circle which is 2 pi r and r is the radius, okay? But today's lesson, we look at this arc, which means this is only parts of the circle. Now, for example, so this is point A, and then we have point B here. Now, our concern is we only look at part of the circle, part of the circumference, so we call this arc AB, okay? So, and let's say this arc makes angle theta here all right and then what do we call that we call that a b and this is arc all right so so this is only part of the circle and then the total circle is 2 pi r the circumference right and then since this is only part of the circle and what do you think about the whole circle here we have a round angle a round angle is equal to 360 and now we only okay look at part of it which is same as theta so here we have the formula to work out the arc length all right which is equal to 2 pi r times theta over 360. okay so here we have example one and also we only have parts of the circle and given that the radius is 12 cm and then we don't know theta, the angle. However, we are given the arc length for CD, which is 6 pi cm. Now we need to find theta. So what is the formula to find arc length? So that here I set equation. So CD, the arc, right? So which is 2 pi r is the whole circumference. But now we only have part of the circumference. The round angle is 360. And then this is theta on top. Okay, so after this equation now i can substitute 2 pi r which is 12 times theta is the unknown okay so 360 degree and what is the arc length given to us which is 6 pi okay so this is the equation i set and what is unknown the unknown is theta okay so and then i can have this pi and pi cancel out each other so therefore what is theta okay i can use my calculator and then I change subject to theta and now I have 6 on the right hand side times 360 and then divided by 2 divided by 12 okay so the theta in this question is equal to 90 degree okay okay next we have example 2 and here is the diagram we're also given part of the circle and now uh, the angle here is 80 degree and what else is given to us? The information here saying that the perimeter of the figure is 34 m meter, and we need to find the radius of OA. Okay, so radius. So let us put radius here as R. Okay, so this is radius, and also what about OB? OB is also radius. And since what given to us here is the perimeter, okay. Now I set equation. I put 34 here is the perimeter of the whole circle okay actually consists of how many things that is the radius here r and then plus another r here and then what's next would that will be the arc length of a b right okay so this is my equation okay so therefore i have two r and then plus so how do we calculate the arc length here which is the whole circumference that will be 2 pi r however we only have part of the circumference which is 80 over the round angle 360 and then equals to 34 okay so if you look at the equation here what is the unknown the unknown will be r and r here okay so next 
How do we solve equation to find the unknown, which is R? So R is here, R is in here. Okay, so we can do factorization, and R is the common factor. So what do I have inside the brackets? I have 2, and then plus 2 pi times 80 over 360, and then equals to 34, right? Okay, so let's do some simplification here. So the 0 and the 0 here cancel out. And then I have 2 and then 36, so what is 36 divided by 2? So which is 18, right? And then 18 and 8 on top, so the common factor is 2, so that would be 4. And then 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So that here I have 2 plus 4 pi over 9 inside the brackets times r equals to 34, right? And what is R? So R will be equal to 34. So divided by the whole thing, move to the right hand side. So that would be 2 plus 4 pi over 9. Okay, so finally, to find R, we need to use calculator in this way. So that this is 34. All right, so divided by the whole thing here, I need brackets. So open brackets. And then 2 plus 4 to get pi, shift button and then divided by nine. Okay, now this is important to close the brackets and then get answer. So that I have the answer for R, the radius, which is 10 meter. So because we need to correct answer to two significant figure. All right, so this is example two. We can set equation to find the unknown, which is R, okay? And the perimeter in this figure consists of three parts. Okay, and R radius, R radius, and the arc length here. So here is the arc length, which is part of the circle. Okay. Okay, next we come to area of a sector. Now, before we look at sector, here we have a whole circle, and R is the radius. And what is the formula to find area of circle? So we have this pi R squared. But now, area of sector means we only look at parts of the circle. Okay, so here, let's say, this is point A, this is point B, and here with angle. So what do you think about part of the area of the sector? So that means this is the area about a sector. Okay, so area of a sector, area of a sector which is part of the circle. So the total circle is pi r squared, the area, and then now we only look at part of the sector, right? All right, so the round angle is 360. Okay, and then now we have theta on top. So therefore, here we have the formula to find area of a sector, okay? Okay, so here we have example three. Now we also have part of a circle and this is 30 degree. And then what we are given here is the area of the sector is 27 pi cm square. And now we need to find the radius of the sector. And let's say I put R for radius of the sector. Okay, and I put 27 pi here on the right hand side and this is the area of the sector. And how do we find area of a sector? We start with the area of a circle, which is pi r square. However, a sector means only part of the circle, and the total circle is 360, and now the ratio for this part is 30 theta. Okay, so this is the equation I set here. And now what is unknown? The unknown is r. All right, so this is the subject. Okay, so how do we find that? First so of all, pi here and pi here, Cancel out. Okay, so what is R? So this this is square. Therefore, later on we have to take square root, right? And then that will be twenty seven inside that times flip over this. I put three hundred sixty on top, and then thirty here. So to find R, now let me use calculator. Okay, so I work out the things inside the square root first. So that is twenty seven times 360 divided by 30. Okay, I need to take square roots. Oh, no shifts, just square roots. So the answer is 18. So the radius in this example is equal to 18 cm. Okay, now we come to example four. 
this is part of the circle all right and then radius is 10 mm and what else is given to us we are given area of the sector which is 20 pi okay and then what do we need to find here we need to find the arc length of a b so this is the things that we have to find we have to find so we need to find this okay but to find this what is important we need to no, since this is only part of the circle, we don't know this angle. So the first thing we have to find angle theta here by using the information given to us, which is the area of the sector. So that I set equation, I put 20 pi here for area of the sector. And what is the formula to find area of the sector, which is pi r square, however, this is only part of the circle and theta we don't know and this is 360 okay and since we know r so i can do substitution r is 10 so that would be 10 square times theta 360 equals to 20 pi okay i set equation to work out theta first and pi pi cancel out the unknown is theta so therefore theta is equal to i can use calculator to work out theta okay to start with 20 and move this 360 to the right hand side so times 360 right and then divided by 100 because 10 square is 100 okay so what is theta theta is equal to 72 degree okay now i know theta is equal to 72 degree so therefore do we have enough information to find arc length yes okay so arc length is part of the circumference okay so what is formula to find circumference which is 2 pi r again part of the circle so 360 is the total now this is 72 okay and then equals to 2 pi r r is 10 and then times 72 on top divided by 360 okay so what is the answer we use calculator so that would be 20 times 72 divided by 360 I get my answer and now times pi so times to get pi shift pi so the answer is for our correct to 0 0.1 mm so that would be 12.6 mm is the answer for arc length a b all right okay here we have example five and this is a diagram okay which consists of two sectors one is the smaller one o a b and then one is a bigger one o c d okay and then we are given o a which is the radius of the smaller sector and then c d here is the arc length of the bigger one and now this is the angle all right so forming the sector and part a we need to find the length of ac so where's ac so ac is here so length of ac actually is equal to the bigger radius that is oc minus oa so which is same as i put this r2 means the bigger radius minus r1 the smaller radius right but how do we find r2 we don't know r2 However, we are given the arc length here so that we can come back to R2 here. So how do we find R2? And then I set equation. So to use the information of 6 pi. All right, so here we have 6 pi. What does it mean 6 pi? 6 pi means the arc length of the bigger circle and the formula of circumference is 2 pi R2, the bigger one, times 72 over 300. 60 all right so the bigger one this is r2 okay so therefore for pi and pi cancel out so what is r2 r2 is equal to this i use calculator all right so that will be 6 times 360 divided by 72 divided by 2 okay so i get r2 the bigger radius 15 so that i have 15 minus 10 so the length for AC is equal to 5 cm. Okay, all right, so set equation by using the arc length to find R2 first. Okay, so next for B, 
what we have to find. And next, we need to find the area of the shaded region. So this is a shaded region. Okay, so I put area of the shaded region is equal to the bigger sector area of the bigger sector big sector minus area of the smaller sector small sector okay right okay so how do we find the area of the big sector so that will be pi r2 square the bigger one times all right so the angle is the ratio is 72 over 360 and then minus the smaller one r1 square times 72 over 360 okay right so if you look at this formula here so pi and this angle this ratio and pi same so that what do we have inside the brackets times 72 and then 360 will be okay what is r square so r square is 15 right r2 so r2 is 15 so i have 15 square minus the radius for the smaller one 10 square like that so this is how we find area of the shade so to find area of the shade region so 15 square minus 10 square all right so times the ratio 72 divided by 360 okay so we don't need to worry about pi because we have got the answer in terms of pi so that the answer here will be 25 pi cm square which is the unit for area okay so that's all about example five okay so next we have the final example for today's lesson and this is a diagram so a b c d is a square and then the size here is 6 cm all right so the first thing we have to find the perimeter of the shade region okay so therefore the perimeter of the shade region actually consists of two things one is the arc length for afc and then another one is arc length of aec okay now we can start calculate that so for part a perimeter of the shade region all right so which is equal to r afc and then plus a e c the arc length or oh, actually the arc length for this is the same so therefore i have two Okay, so how do we calculate arc length of AFC? So if you look at this arc length, actually here is the center and this is square. So that's the degree here is 90 degree. All right, so part of the circumference, this is also part of the circumference and the formula for part of the circumference will be equal to two pi r and then times the angle is 90 divided by 300. 60 right okay so two and what do you think about r here so this is part of the circumference and then dc is also the radius of the here of the shape here the circle all right okay so two pi r which is six and then times 90 over 360 okay and now I can use my calculator, and which is 2 times 2 is 4 times 6 times 90 divided by 360. And then times pi. To get pi, we need to shift the button. Okay, so the answer is 18.8 cm. Okay, so this is how we find perimeter of the shade region here. Now we come to part B. Okay. Okay, so to do part B here, the area of the shaded region. So now I need to break down this shaded area into two parts. And here is the diagram. Okay, so uh, this part for the sector here, which is AFC. Okay, so to work out half of the area here. So actually, we need to work out 
from the big one, the big sector here, minus the area of the triangle in order to find to find to find parts of the shade area. Okay, so part B, area of the shade region. Okay, so since this is only the 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 half half of it, so so two times all together we have two. All right, so two times here. So what is it? Which is equal to the sector. The sector area of sector is pi r square, right? And then times this is ninety over 360 and then minus the area of the triangle here in order to find the shade region and then minus area of the triangle which is 6 times 6 the base times height be divided by 2 okay all right so 2 and then pi what is r r is also 6 times 90 and then 300 60 minus 36 divided by 2 minus 18 okay all right now i can use calculator to work out the total here all right so i have this 36 times 90 divided by 360 get answer and times pi shift pi and then minus 18 okay so 10.2 seven which is the shade area only half of it and altogether the total we have two so that times two okay so this is it so 20 point two all right so cm square will be the final answer to work out the shade area in example six okay so that's all about today's lesson so mainly we have this the arc length the formula which is 2 pi r times theta over 360 okay and also we have area of the sector which is the total area of circle times part of the circle theta over 360 okay that's all about today's lesson thank you for watching my video i see you next time bye bye